Hi, everybody. Um, I was looking for some practical advice uh, for how to uh, use some astronomical numbers uh, to do some uh, trading. So uh, at first I thought uh, it doesn't make any sense. There's no way this is possible. Uh, and then I looked into it a little more carefully and discovered that there was maybe a way uh, that is possible um, to use uh, the uh, sun and the uh, um, well, and then the Earth as well, and as well as the Moon, uh, phases of the Moon. So how is that exactly? So basically what happened here um, is that there's different kinds of charts. Now, um, most people already look at the one-day chart, and they consider that a pretty important chart. So if you think about it, that itself is an astronomical chart. Um, it's based on one day, um, but how can I use other time frames um, within the three day, five day, 10 day, one month or three months, six month, one or year to date? How do I use that kind of stuff? Um, so basically what I did um, is based on the minute um, chart, um, which I'll load up here in a second. Uh, sorry, it's taking a moment. Um, I realized to myself, I did a quick search on Google um, and I found uh, something that says this. So I said, how long does it take light to travel from from the sun to the earth? Um, and it's basically eight and a third minutes. And I thought to myself, well, this is great. So what I could do is I could start using eight minute charts uh, and then a 16 minute chart for doing a round trip. Uh, and that's very similar to either a five minute or 10 minute or uh, 15 minute and 30 minute. Um, so basically the reason is, is because uh, if you use an 8 and a 16, it's very similar to using, say, an, a 5 and a 10 or a 15-minute chart, right? So a 15-minute chart is very similar to a 16-minute chart, but it's only off by a minute. Um, but why would, it, why would it be important to use an 8-minute chart, and how do you get an 8-minute chart because it doesn't show that as an option? Um, when I select here, it doesn't have 8-minute charts. Uh, for time periods. Um, so what you can do is you can use the indicators um, and you can start to use, uh, so I specified each indicator here. I have a 16 minute money flow in, in, in interval here. Uh, I have my MACD set up as eight minute for a fast period, 16 minute for the full, full period here, and then the signal period of 16 as well. Now, the interesting thing is that uh, it turns out that for MACD, uh, if you do a default MACD um, and you look at the crossings, it turns out that these two charts look surprisingly similar. Uh, in fact, they're very similar, but it turns out that, uh, you know, there's certain things that show up slightly more detail actually on an 8 minute, eight, eight, an 816 chart, that I would say, which is basically a cosmic chart, right? So here we see that there's a little bit of a downtrend where it doesn't even show it uh, so much on the uh, 12, uh, 26, 9 chart, um, right? So um, basically that's one example of how it can potentially help you. Um, so, and I also use a volume oscillator and I did the same thing for this volume oscillator. I did a 16 minute signal, eight and 16 again. Um, so I have volume oscillator and I have a stochastic. Um, and I put a, um, for this I put, periods of eight and then three smoothing periods. So and it works out pretty well actually. Um, and then for the uh, average to range, again, I put, uh, you know, it just works over eight periods, which actually works quite well, works slightly better than I'd say a 10 period uh, moving average because it's slightly more precise um, than a, a 10 period. Um, in terms of it responds faster. Um, so anyway, I hope this chart has really helped you out. Um, the other thing you can do um, is you can look for other astronomical numbers. Now the phase of the moon is one interesting thing. It turns out that the phase of the moon is a 30 day thing. So what you could do is instead of using these numbers for 16 and eight, you can change them to 15 and 30s. So what I did is I added moving average lines at 15 and 30. Um, and then that helped me out a little bit uh, to understand what's going on. Um, but these are actually at 8 and 16, but you can put them at any rate, rate you want um, and kind of get an idea. So anyway, I hope this has really helped you out. I hope it's given you some advice on how to use astronomy to help you better trade some things. I've had some really fun experience uh, just thinking about it. So, for example, here I can start to say, 
well, this is the sun. The sun line is the white line, and the earth and sun responding line is the red line, the signal line. Uh, so you can start doing some thinking like that a little bit in terms of astronomy. Um, and it helps out even on the volume oscillator, same thing goes, because this is actually an eight minute, eight minute response time, and this is a 16 minute uh, for the signal line. Um, so again, how did I get that, that chart? I just did a search on the internet. It's about eight minutes and a third. So it's basically a little bit longer than eight minutes. Um, so you could do a nine one if you want, but what I, the reason I do eight minutes is because uh, then it takes me like 16 seconds or so um, to uh, maybe 10 seconds to really start thinking about um, uh, what's going on in the chart anyway before I make a decision. So I do it as an 816 um, rather than a, just an eight minutes and one third, but it's not quite possible to do it exactly at eight and a third. Um, but uh, it's been really helpful and really interesting. Um, and again, uh, each one of these oscillators, I did it on 16 minutes. A lot of people do it at 14, but uh, 16 minutes seems to be uh, working just fine as well. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been very helpful. Anyway, I hope it's uh, been interesting to hear from you. Let me know what ideas you have about this. I'd be glad to talk with you further if you see some other ideas, uh, other time frames. Um, that'd be great.